Welcome, PeopleSoft professionals. I'd like to explain to you and walk through a little short brief training on XML Publisher in PeopleSoft. And basically, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions first before we get started. And you can obviously answer these to yourself. Um, perhaps you're familiar with writing PeopleSoft queries. Uh, most users and uh, super users as well as developers are very well familiar with writing a PeopleSoft query. It's very simple to do and allows you to quickly get access to data in an unformatted Excel style output. And so how many times have you done that and wondered or asked yourself and wished there was an easy way to take that data and make a very simple nice formatted report without having to go in copy the data out of Excel, paste it into Word, then manipulate and do formatting. Or maybe you thought to yourself, hey, this is a really simple query that I've created that basically lists out you know, a certain number of employees or students or vendors um, and their particular addresses, and I'd really like to basically um, print out some labels really quickly. And usually what you have to do is take the Excel output, and save it off, open up Word, create your Word, do a mail merge, etc. Um, but do you ever wish that there was a simple, easy way to do that with just one click right from within PeopleSoft? Well, there is. And it's the XML Publisher application. Now, it was recently renamed to BI Publisher a year or so back after Oracle came out with its business intelligence software because it's used throughout multiple different areas and applications within Oracle. It's not a PeopleSoft specific reporting tool. It is actually a standalone Java-based tool. However, it is integrated within PeopleSoft, which makes it very easy to use and to basically create formatted reports. Some of the great things about it is, one, there's no programming or code required for you to create a stunning formatted report that looks really nice to do uh, labels uh, with a click of a button, to do form letters with a click of a button. It's very, very easy to do. In fact, if you would just take notice at some of the programs and reports that you run that do today um, in PeopleSoft, delivered reports like, you know, that are in recruiting, um, you know, rejection letters, uh, things like that, you know, those are all using XML Publisher, but, you know, you may want to create your own. And if you are a little more advanced and you are a developer, you can certainly use people code as well to generate and run these um, XML reports. For example, there's some samples where I show how to basically click a button on a page and it automatically generates and pops up a report right in front of your face without ever having to go to process monitor, to, to click a you know scheduling of a job. And that is a one really, really nice feature of XML Publisher. It's basically a reporting solution that's going to streamline reports and form generation. And the way that it does that is very simply through the separation of the actual data extraction or data source from the actual report layout or the template. So in olden days, if you wanted to report, you had to contact your technical department, your IT department, or your developer and ask them to write a report for you in which they would probably use an SQR or maybe if they were more advanced they might write something with App Engine. Um, but usually it required some type of programming and it was a single program. And in this case you're simply taking and designing and creating a report layout in Microsoft Word or Adobe all by itself and you're using a specific tool that comes with the XML publisher that plugs right in. It's an add-on in MS Word and allows you to quickly drag and drop you know, fields that you want to appear wherever you want them to appear. And then the XML publisher will actually render the data that you're using uh, and merge it into that report where you told it to. And it can generate the report output in you know PDF and RTF or rich text format in Excel and HTML so on and so forth but the best thing about it is if you're a global PeopleSoft customer and you have multiple um, languages in your database 
you can write one report that outputs it into multiple different languages. That's pretty powerful. So one of the best things about this whole XML publisher tool is it really reduces report maintenance. There's no need to get your IT department involved. There's no need to get developers or write code. In fact, any super user can go in and create or adjust a report template with very, very few steps. And one of the ways to do that is to, even most of you have queries that you already have out there today, you can quickly convert those into XML publisher reports, which are be reproduced through the actual uh, PeopleSoft application and nicely formatted PDF, etc. So let me just do a brief explanation of understanding how the XML publisher works. And essentially, what it is is you have data logic. Now, when we say data logic, basically, this is something that could be a query or it could be, you know, a people code. Um, you know, section or report or some type of code, but more than likely, as a normal day-to-day -day user, you're going to use PeopleSoft Query. That's the data logic part of this. Then you have the report template that you create in an MS Word or Adobe Acrobat. Very simple, drag and drop. You format the report. You put in text, images, logos, whatever you want. You save that template. And then you have a translation layer if you have multiple languages. Let's assume that you don't for the moment, but essentially XML Publisher, which is the Java-based application, which is already integrated into PeopleSoft, takes all three of these layers and basically merges it all together to produce a single output report. And that particular outputted report comes into a nice formatted PDF, Excel, HTML, whatever it is that you wanted output and you decided in your development or design of that particular template. Again, very simple to use. Anybody can do it with very simple basic knowledge and steps. And I show how to do that in the guide to reporting in PeopleSoft with XML Publisher, which you can instantly download. But essentially, the data logic, as I mentioned, you've got PS Query, XML, Doc. You can create three different types, and these are what's called data sources. And I go into this in detail in the guide that shows you how to do it step by step and has walkthrough videos and examples to show you how you can quickly, within a few hours, get up to speed to learn how to create nicely formatted reports. But there's essentially three different types of data sources. You can create a query. You can have an XML doc. That's more for advanced users. You'll need to use code to create an XML document. And then you have what's called connected queries. And connected queries is a whole other topic, but it's basically PeopleSoft queries. And you can have multiple queries and connect them all together to create an outputted query combining multiple queries. And I know that was a lot said, but um, just, just know that there's three different types. And you can use those three types to produce the report template output that we talked about. Now you'll create a data source as your first step and that could be you know you write your query and then you go to a people you do all of this online within the PeopleSoft internet architecture through your browser no uh, tools no app designer you create your query you create your data source then you create your report template outside of PeopleSoft for example using Microsoft Word You'll use the XML Publisher add-in that comes into and shows up as a menu item in Microsoft Word. You drag and drop a few fields. You format your Word document. You save it as a RTF, rich text format. And then you go to your PeopleSoft page where uh, you create a report definition. You upload that template. Very simple point and click type steps. And you save it. And then you're able to, at that point, run and produce an XML publisher output report with a click of a button. It's really that simple. And of course, if you're more advanced and you want to do certain things such as, you know, clicking on uh, a button on a page which automatically pops up in a new window of the report that you're looking at. For example, you might be a um, 
you know, self-service user, you're looking at your benefits, you can click a button, a confirmation statement pops up in front of you. Or you could be using um, ePerformance and you can certainly print off feedback one by one for feedback providers that give you, you know, feedback for your review or performance. But maybe you wanted to create one that basically combines them all. Click a button, all of a sudden pop up in a window, a very nicely formatted report that lists every single person that's provided some feedback on you and their feedback. All kinds of different ways and examples to use this tool. But it's very powerful, but it's very simple to use. You just need to know the steps of how to do that. So I'm offering you today the ability to download the guide to reporting in PeopleSoft with XML Publisher below this video. Simply click the link below this video, you'll get instant access to download the report. But more importantly, before you do that, I would love to get your feedback and please comment below. Enter a comment and give me your feedback on what you thought of this brief high level overview. Um, again, there's more detailed videos inside when you download the guide but I want to know your feedback on what you thought of this video and training and what other types of training or videos you'd like to have produced that will help you in your day-to-day -day PeopleSoft career. So please comment, give me your feedback, give me your suggestions and what you want to learn below this video. Thanks for watching and have a terrific day.